Hello, hello, you guys. Dexstar here, and welcome back to my channel. It's another beautiful day where it's always a beautiful day here with me, and I do hope that with every video that I put out, that I am able to inspire you to live your best life because that is what my channel is all about. And for those of you who are actually new here, this is Dexter and I do one video a week, a lifestyle channel that aims to inspire you to live your best life. Anyways, you guys, for this week, I, uh, well, I don't know if you're able to read the title of this video and I would want to address this particular skincare concern basically because it has been my skincare concern for the longest time and I wasn't just paying attention to it up until I think I arrived here in the Middle East and it has really flared up for some other reasons and I don't know why and whatnot. But um, I'm very very thankful to my mother from another clan, Stephanie Flores, who has been very diligent in looking into different things basically because I think this has um, came about basically because how many times did I say basically because <laughs> this actually came about because I think um, Steph was looking for solutions online for her dark spots. she has dark spots on her face and she has been looking for uh, solutions for the dark spots and I think it's with that particular search that a lot of information came in and um, I have been talking to her about my concern which is keratosis pilaris it sounds very scientific which I know is a little difficult to understand especially for me as a com like a person who's not into all these things but I have to we all have to learn <laughs> So this is what it is, um, this has been my, I mean, when I was in the Philippines, it was not this much. There were quite a few blotches, but not this much, and then when I came to the Middle East, this really flared up quite so much, and I don't know how to handle it anymore, and I've been trying ever since, even in the Philippines, I've been trying to, like, um, exfoliate, 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 do body scrubs, um, milk baths, and all that stuff, and nothing really was improving that time so i had that concern already and then after when i came here it really got gotten worse so um thankfully again steph thank you so much for discovering this that this is called keratosis pilaris basically what it is is what is commonly called as chicken skin like for us for for other common people who doesn't deal much with the scientific terms this is what we call chicken skin and you know if you if you like rub your uh, hand down your arm you feel like there are really small bits of bumps that is very unpleasant and um, as per the videos that or information that we have gathered um, keratosis pilaris is actually a genetic skin disorder which means oh my god I have a disorder <laughs> anyways I was just kidding um, well, yes, it is a skin genetic disorder, which means that it cannot be, I don't know, as how I understood it, that means that it cannot be treated, but we can, um, uh, what do you call that? We can have lessen, lessen things and at least smoothen out your skin and not have all those bumps. But it cannot, it, it won't be gone, which means that you really have to do, um, be very diligent with your skincare for you to be able to at least lessen and smoothen out your skin. I will put it up closer. For those of you who are a bit um, not into a graphic -y look, I'm very sorry, but this is how it is. This has been quite a concern. Some of it are dark spots, I would understand, but if you if you run your, your hand on top of it, you would really feel all those bits of bumps, which is very very unpleasant I mean for you personally like when you hold your arm it really is very unpleasant how much more if you have a partner <laughs> kidding anyways so this is um, or actually as what we have gone through the other videos I'm also very thankful to all those dermatologists who are online who are doing videos online because their videos are very very informative and it has really helped us so much um, previously, I know that I have featured 
Dr. Vanita Ratan, and she also has videos about keratosis pilaris. And then recently, the one that Steph discovered is Dr. Sam Bunting, which is uh, really helpful as well. If you're interested, I will be putting um, Dr. Vanita Ratan and Dr. Sam Bunting's um, videos about keratosis pilaris in the description box below. All right. However, with this, we have actually um, gone through every videos. I mean, not every video possible, but quite a few that we have learned from and I have gotten um, quite a few uh, few products that I hopefully think that could help and smoothen things out a bit for all these things. Now I wore a uh, sleeveless or a tank top basically to um, highlight what it is the big, very very big concern that I've been having and this is not just here. Um, keratosis pilaris, um, some or majority actually happens to 50% of the people. So that means that I'm not the only one. So if you are experiencing all these chicken skin, as we call it, then this is a video for you and hopefully this will be able to help you as well. All right, so for me, it actually happens here on both arms. If you can see, that's there. And then it also has a few of them on my chest and on my back and some of them on my buttocks as well. So. This is going. This is quite a big concern, and especially during summertime. Um, according to the videos, it usually flares up during winter, but I haven't really noticed that as much because I haven't been paying attention. Like summer or winter, it really flares up as much. But what good way to start here if it really flares up in winter? At least now that it's summer, I can slowly lessen it and reduce it, and then come winter, at least my skin would already be able to adjust and it would not be flaring up as much. All right, so let us start. According to, I will need, I will need my, I have notes, I have notes right here. <laughs> I will need my notes basically because these are information that I've just taken from the videos and I'm very thankful about that. So with keratosis pilaris, um, what you need to do with your body care, you need to be careful with the cleanser also that you use for your body. And um, with this, you actually should have cleansers for your body that are um, no, with no fragrance, and then it also should be non-foaming, and then lastly, it should not be um, ones that are very abrasive to your, uh, what do you call this, to your skin. Basically because if you see there are, there are like redness and all that and if you continuously rub it even if you're with the lightest um, scrub it would still have those redness and it would worsen that all right so what is suggested um, and I'm taking it from Dr. Sam Bunting what is suggested by Dr. Sam Bunting is um, drunken elephant Camille cream cleanser and then you also have the CeraVe hydrating cleanser and then also the necessaire body wash and what i was able to get is the hydrating cleanser from cerave this is how it is it is a facial cleanser which is very good because basically this is what i use now for my face as well both face and body as my cleanser so it is as what is here this is for normal to dry skin cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore protective skin barriers with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. I know that sounds very scientific, but let's just trust science for now. <laughs> so that is, um, that is my current cleanser that I'm using to also help treat my keratosis pilaris. So this is both for my face and body. I don't, luckily, I'm very thankful that I don't have keratosis pilaris on my face because sometimes it would have here, it would happen here and also some parts on to near your eyebrows. And I'm very thankful that I don't have it. I only have it on my arm, my back, my chest, and my buttocks, which is a little bit of a consolation for me. So I can just wear, if you notice, I usually wear t-shirts and all that. I'm not usually wearing sleevelesses because of this concern. <laughs> so that is my cleanser. And then, secondly, what was advised is actually, for the treatment part, you actually have to use active ingredients. You can have 
Hyalur um, alpha hydroxy acid, you can have salicylic acid, you can have urea, and also retinoids. Now, all those are very scientific terms, I understand, but um, there are other brands that are recommended, um, brand recommended by Dr. Sambunting, which is for alpha hydroxy acid, you can use ameliorate transforming body lotion. There's also Neustrata Lotion Plus, and also Mini and Moi Advanced Body Lotion, if you're into that. If you wanted to use salicylic acid, you can use the CeraVe um, Salicylic Acid Smoothing Range. And then if you wanted to go for urea, you can also use Uricin, urea, uh, uricin 10% Urea Intensive Lotion. And then you can also use actually um, retinoids, which is the one recommended is Paula's Choice 0.1% retinol treatment and there are also uh, you can also use uh, ceramides and niacinamide so there's a lot of options that you can choose from for your treatment and I was able to get quite a few it's in this box <laughs> so I was able to get quite a few and we oh this doesn't need a scissor okay we're opening that We got it from Cult Beauty. I'm not paid by Cult Beauty, but thank you, Cult Beauty. We got it from Cult Beauty, and then you have all this. My gosh, it's so nice. And then you have paper, protective paper, just so everything doesn't move. So, for... This is the lotion. This is Ameliorate Transforming Body Lotion. This is what I got to um, have that treatment for my keratosis pilaris. So first thing is to actually wash. When you do your washing, your cleansing, I use this for cleansing for the body as well. And then I, after that, I will now, because previously I don't have it, I was able to get just the cleanser at first and then I'm using my regular body lotion after. So after today that we already have this, I will be able now to use the Ameliorate Transforming Body Lotion, which is hopefully going to be very helpful in lessening all the bumps and it will be able to smooth out my arms, my back, and my buttocks. All right, so that is it. And then next thing actually that we have got wanted to try and have been wanting to go through a, uh, I don't know if it has been a craze or things like that, but um, I have been, or we actually have been checking out Inky List, which is more of a, uh, not really, not really expensive. This is more of the affordable actually and entry level items, which are very, very good quality and has been having very great reviews. So. We have here one of the ingredients that has been quite a craze at the moment, which is bakuchiol. I know. Bakuchi what? <laughs> this is bakuchiol, and um, from what we read, this is supposed to be a uh, another good, not really replacement, but another um, retinol, retinol part, which is basically to help with anti-aging and also for all those with acne. I don't really have acne, but I think this would be able to help in terms of smoothing things out. And of course, any anti-aging, I'm on it. And we wanted to, of course, well, I mean, cool. I mean, I don't know. I'm not afraid of aging. It's just that I want to age gracefully. <laughs> so this is Bakuchiol from Inky List, and I want to um, try this out and this is how it looks inside see it's a 30 ml 30 ml one from inky list I don't know if you can read it properly because I know it might be the other way around or something but this is a moisturizer and this is for normal skin we got two of those moisturizers and then we also have 
one that has been sworn by the Duchess of Cambridge. <laughs> this is rose hip oil. And this has actually been getting also quite a rave, especially of course because it's being used by the Duchess of Cambridge. And if it is good for her, it will be good for us. <laughs> well, of course, as I would always be giving you as a disclaimer, all of these are personally purchased. None of these are sponsored. And well, we will be thankful if Inky List would be sponsoring. <laughs> but with this, this is all, this is a moisturizer as well in the rose hip oil. And this is how it looks inside. This is how it looks. All right. So with this, hoping that of course it would also be part of my anti-aging routine. <laughs> okay, but last but definitely not the least is this um, Suchini Soup. <laughs> Sucinic. There it is. Sucinic. I don't know how it's really pronounced. It's really that. <laughs> I might be butchering quite a lot of it, but that is that. And this is for blemish prone skin. And this is like a. This is also from Inculus. And this is like a treatment. I'm. You, I will be using it as a treatment, like a spot treatment. Like if you have like a coming pimple or things like that, you can just take a bit of it and then just dab it onto that pimple and it would re really reduce everything and reduce redness as well. So that is, I don't know how it's pronounced, but that is how it is. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that has been it. And we basically ordered it from Cult Beauty and as always, any disclaimers that none of these are sponsored, everything is personally purchased. I do hope that you got a bit of an idea of how to be able to treat. Uh, for those of you who has concerns of keratosis pilaris, which according to the videos that we watch is 50% of the people in the world. So basically that's a lot. And I do hope that this video will be able to help you as well. If you want um, certified medical professionals information, I'll be putting the references of the dermatologists that we have been listening to on YouTube. I'll be putting them on the description on the description box below. And I do hope that you are able to get some ideas. And if you want to try out the products that I am currently using, I'll be um, sharing also in other future videos of how these products are performing for me. But at the moment, I've just gotten them and I will be um, giving my honest opinions about how they perform after, I don't know, usually I would, I would give um, any product like three months if it's really working or not because basically it gives your skin time to adjust and I don't know if it really absorbs or not and if it really works in your skin. For me, it goes three months is my period. So eventually, from time to time, of course, I will be sharing my opinion in the products that I'm using. Maybe after after three weeks or after a month, I'll be sharing bits of it and then we'll see how everything performs. But at the moment, I hope that you were able to get some ideas and I have inspired you to take care more of your skin. And of course, everything that you put on top of your skin would not be very beneficial if you don't take care of your skin from the inside, which of course you have to the usual, take good, um, enough rest, enough amount of water, and of course, take fruits and vegetables regularly, and if you don't, as much as possible, take a little bit of supplement just to be able to support your body and enhance the products that you're using on top of your skin. All right, I hope that you have enjoyed our video today. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!